<laughs> you think I'll let you zone. Baka. Hey guys, this video is made in response to my video of the Lanolin Wars. I made a couple months ago and it went live a month or so ago. And got some traction. The video itself was about a dumb internet spat between Sonic fans with common sense and ones that think certain characters were made for them only and have authority on what others say about them. Comments thought the video was talking about IDW's Sonic the Hedgehog issues 63 and 64 where Silver senses that one of the new recruits, Duo, is not what he says he is and Lanolin not believing him. Luckily today I'm going to talk about this plot point and it's not black and white like some fans of certain characters online make it out to be. Let's get down to seeing if Lanolin is that dirty rat that the only reason people like her is that she has titties like Rouge. It starts with issue 63 where Tangle and Whisper go to see Belle about fixing her wisp on and they bump into Silver who's trying to figure out what to do now. He doesn't want to waste his time not making a difference in helping but he also wants to see the world of the past with Blaze but Whisper offers him a spot to train with the Diamond Cutters. Lanolin wants their first training session to be about communication and coordination to get everyone used to each other's habits and abilities because everyone is new there. Duo, who is Mimic the Octopus, tries to flatter and hype up Silver to make a mistake with an ego boost. Silver takes apart a small mountain while Lanolin wants to use the rocks for training. Duo sees an opportunity to do some damage by tripping Silver, who let down his guard, with Silver watching. Take note of this. Later we see the ravine filling with water while Duo and Silver are trying to not be eaten. Duo Duo leaves him to basically do or die at that point. Silver gets out and blames Duo for ditching him and Duo says that he was trying to get help while Lanolin scolds Silver for pointing fingers at whose fault it is because technically he did go and get help because he was trying to tell Lanolin what happened, albeit very delayed which makes Silver look like he's blaming someone else for his screw up. Mimic knows what he's doing to flip the focus onto Silver because he's not thinking straight and letting his emotions make predictable reactions Mimic can exploit. Later, Whisper comes to Silver saying that she believes him because she saw Duo messing with him and getting in his way. I question why she didn't start recording Duo after that because her mask must have a recording function or at least take screenshots. Silver tells Whisper he saw his eye change color so they're going hunting. In issue 64, we see Silver and Whisper stake out and try and get evidence that Duo is someone else, but Silver is impatient so he thinks he can speed things up by spooking him to slip up. Whisper warns to not hurt Duo because they need evidence. Silver doesn't listen and tries to drop him from a balcony only for Lanolin to catch him and out the pair and give them an opportunity to explain themselves because she's kept tabs on them for a while now. They claim that Duo is the shapeshifter mimic and Lanolin wants to believe them, but they don't have any evidence that Duo is and all this aggression just makes Whisper and Silver look paranoid for singling out someone who hasn't really done anything yet. Lanolin can let Silver slide a little bit because he isn't a soldier so he lets his emotions control his actions or Whisper should know better. At this point Mimic has got them where he wants them by playing on Whisper's trauma of her past teammates and Silver obsessing over a new recruit that didn't do anything that others could have seen. So it just looks like Silver hates Duo. Silver tries to corner him by having him in the air so he has to change to do something but Mimic takes a dive and injures himself to sell to everyone that Silver's in the wrong. Everyone saw Silver and Whisper didn't have anything to suggest Duo was a mercenary other than just trust me. That isn't going to cut it if they're just going to profile off of looks. Lanolin tells Silver until he can act responsibly he shouldn't be around anyone and Tangle wants to believe Silver, but with everything, she just can't and Duo gets away. Now this whole thing is not black and white with both sides needing to learn something, first Lanolin. By her nature, she wants structure, not chaos, or in this instance, assumptions, and a trust me bro, because that's how mistakes get made, not to mention people get hurt. The way I see it, Lanolin needs to trust people or her teammates more. She's trying. Being a leader is very hard work because your decision to act or to not act has real consequences when looking after people. In issue 63, she's trying to build more trust in her teammates and each other, but it's hijacked by Mimic to make Silver look bad and out of control. Lanolin is very reasonable by saying if you have any proof, evidence, something she can look into, she'll listen. Otherwise, Silver needs to calm down. Lanolin herself does need to trust more, or at the very least look into Duo to see if there's something more, or it's just 
he's a creepy guy. The sheep does need to grow as a leader and be more flexible, but calling her trash or hoping she's a villain so she can be thrown out is just petty because she and Whisper brought up legit concerns with Silver's accusations, namely evidence and the patience to get it. Silver is so caught up in helping that he has tunnel vision and won't look at the bigger picture. Had he taken the time to learn Mimic's mannerisms and habits, he could have gathered enough evidence to suspect that Duo was a shapeshifter instead of scaring him into messing up. Silver needs to learn that not everything can be solved by a punch, or in this case, a psychic. On the flip side, everyone, or at least Jewel and Lanolin, needed to look into what Silver was saying might have some base of truth to it, but that's one reason why people get defensive about their favorite character making the wrong decision because they don't want their favorite character to look bad. Readers are the observer, so they know what is happening or what will happen, but the characters are reacting to how it is happening, and it wouldn't be much of a story if they went, you know what, Silver, we trust you. Duo, you're imprisoned until you remove the gloves and show us your paws. So yeah, no one in these two issues are fully in the right or wrong, but here I am trying to explain Lanolin isn't some devil sheep spawn created to gaslight Silver, and Silver should have slowed down to think things through. Hopefully this clears things up from the last video, but I'll see you guys next time.